Hello, my name is Brian Murphy. Welcome. We are going to do the disc. I'm going to show you how to use this. I had such wonderful responses here since yesterday, even about getting these discs. So you'll be receiving the mail soon. So we want to get the best out of it. Let's go through some safety points. So when you do get it, you can go, okay, how, how do I use it? So um, I would have a chair, or if you're at a dance studio, have a bar there for the first time on this because you got to be careful. It just you, you move around a lot. You want to just get used to it. Okay, put it down. So you put your let's do the left foot first. So you put your left foot on the actual disc itself. So what I would do is I would stand on it and feel that balance. Okay, and then put your foot down. The other thing is uh, before we start here, your feet. I like bare feet. You could put socks on, but you tend to slip. So I would suggest a good barefoot, unless you have a pair of socks that um, are like a little kind of sticky at the bottom, that helps too. And, and the other thing is, when you're doing this, um, the floor, either marley, carpet, nothing slippery. So you gotta be careful of that too. Okay, so left foot, stand on your left leg. You should be able to stand on it without the, the right foot going down on it. Put your right foot on the edge and stand on it. Now, showing here, here, my feet on the, are on the outside of the circle. So if I tip forward, you can see on the outside. They're not in the middle, both feet are not in the middle, on the outside. Facing your bar, chair, or if you have a countertop, stand up nice and tall. To get used to it moving around, just move your feet. Circle it around. It's going to move. When we do this workout, it's going to move around. You want to get used to it. There is a tendency when it goes back, we go, whoa, we fall. We go, oh my god, we go like this, and we fall back. Okay. So just circle it around underneath you to get used to that sensation of the rocking. Okay, nice and easy there. Feeling that sensation there. I'll just face you so you can see. You also already, and I already start, even though I've been doing this for a long time, I feel my Donald having to activate. This is the beauty about this disc workout. That when you move it around, you have to be on balance. If you lose your core, you're going to fall back. So let's talk about if you are going to fall back. So if you're on this and you, you're trying to balance and you're doing the workout and you feel your body falling, step out. Take a moment, take a deep breath, and then start over. Get yourself back on it, feel that balance. Put both feet there and feel what it feels like again. And then start the workout, continue the workout. Okay, I'm just gonna circle it around there to get the feeling of what it feels like to move it around. And there, okay? So standing on both feet has so many benefits. So if I would face the side, when I bend my knees, this is important for safety and how we're gonna, how we, to get the most out of this. So when you bend the knees, it just goes straight down. Take note that I'm not leaning forward, or I'm definitely not leaning back. The disc will force you to do that. The disc forces you to keep your body aligned. And to get off this thing, lean to one side, left or right, take the foot off, and there. Okay, one last safety tip, and I'll do more later, is one foot. So. Again, just like you do, do both feet, you want to just slowly get into it. There's a tendency to jump on it, it feels good, woohoo! I don't want to do that, okay? So you put one foot in the middle, my right foot's on the ground, my hand's on the chair. Take a deep breath, bend that left leg, and put your right foot around the ankle or knee area. So again, from the side. Straight up and down, nice and tall on that left side. 
So whatever we're going to do on the disc, whatever like is going on, what's happening here, arms are moving, it's the alignment. And again, if you're looking from the side here, it's a great exercise for the standing leg, for strengthening that standing leg. That's the beauty, again, about this whole workout program. How does it strengthen that standing leg? If you're, if you're standing on it, okay, on one leg, here, this is face to the bar or chair, you have the chair, good. If you have one hand on the chair, bar, great. The leg that you're standing on is the side the chair countertop is on. What that means is, if I'm going to be on my left leg, my left hand. If I'm on my right leg, left hand, this is not where you want to be. The reason why, we tend to lean into that side. So you want to work that standing leg, and the way you do it is that the side that you need your support is the side that you're standing on. Very important. Because you don't want to start leaning, so if I let go, if I fall this way, it's easy to lean into here. Now, facing the bar or chair, whatever you're doing, if you're here, use it as a support where you tend to go and lean into it. And of course, you gotta be careful you don't lean back, right? So, really, bottom line of the support here, the chair, countertop, or bar, whatever you're using, is just support. Really, the work lies into the standing leg side and the abdominals, and how that, how that works together. And slowly step off of it and release. I hope this helped you out, and um, as these workouts go along, and I'll be continuing to post these, I will put these on my Facebook page, so, uh, Facebook page, sorry, on my YouTube account, and then I'll give you that link, and if you're like, oh, I need, I got these discs, uh, I want to be safe, and I want to make sure I do this right, please go to this video, it's very important, because I want you to get the most out of this program. So thank you so much, I'd love to hear from you, and bye.